Hey guys, welcome to Mobile World Congress here in Barcelona 2016. I'm Vlad with The Verge and we're here with the first big new phone announcement. This is the brand new LG G5. It's a 5.3 inch handset from the company, follows up from the LG G4 from last year. As you can see, it's a more compact, smaller device, uh, but it still has the same resolution, 2560 by 1440 Quad HD. The first thing I noticed with this device is that it really reminds me of Google's Nexus 6P. It has the fingerprint sensor all over here in the back, uh, which is also doubles up as a power button. Also, you might notice this is where LG starts to come into its own. It has a dual camera system. So it has a 16 megapixel camera and an 8 megapixel camera. The second 8 megapixel camera actually gives you a wider view, field of view. It goes up to 135 degrees. The G5 will be available in the silver option, There'll also be a gold, a pink, and a dark color which LG calls Titan. But the thing that's really different about the LG G5 is something that LG calls a set of friends or accessories for the new phone. There's a tiny little button right here on the side which when you press it, it pops open and you actually pull out the battery of the phone with it. It's a 2800 milliamp hour battery and you can add more accessories. So one of them is this extra camera grip which you tuck the battery into and then you plug back it into the phone. LG says that the G5 boots up really quickly, so we can actually test that right now. But what you have with this compartment is you get an extended battery, but you do get a dedicated shutter button, a dedicated video button, an LED indicator light, and a jog dial for zoom. And the phone is just booted up. So that was a few seconds that it took. With the external battery as well, you get up to 4,000 milliamp hours. LG says, uh, that gets you 50% more usage or six or eight hours extra of uh, camera usage, which is, you know, is nice. Also notable down here at the bottom, USB-C. This uses a USB-C connector. Another attachment that LG has for the G5 is the Bang & Olufsen uh, Hi-Fi DAC and Amp. So this is a 32-bit DAC. It has its own headphone jack, which might turn out a bit confusing because there's a headphone jack up here, and there's also one up at the top of the phone. The one at the bottom is for a 32-bit hi-fi DAC and amp. The whole idea with this is that the G5, once you have this plugged in, turns into a hi-fi portable media player. But these are just the two attachable accessories, the two attachable so-called friends. There's the LG 360 cam, which does pretty much what the name suggests. It's a 360 camera. And there's also a new USB-C head-mounted display. It weighs 100 grams. It's a little bit more attractive than the usual uh, VR set. And also there is a rolling robot. It's kind of like the Sphero bowl. It's a big bowl that you control with your phone. Uh, it has a laser pointer. It has a camera integrated into it. It has speakers and a microphone. And LG presents it as a home monitoring device slash pet care accessories. Another big new feature is the always on display. So the display never goes off. It's an IPS display, not OLED, and consumes 0.8% of battery power per hour. The one thing that LG isn't giving us is any pricing for any of these accessories. The big innovation for LG is all of these accessories, the friends that it's adding on. This is what's going to set the G5 apart. But speaking for myself personally, I love the design, I love the feel of this phone. And I feel with the new and improved cameras, the new and improved processors, it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 inside, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, micro SD expandability. Just as a phone, this might be one of the more interesting and most exciting ones coming out in a long while. The LG G5 and all of its friends are going to be coming out in early April, we're told, around the world. But anyhow, this is all from the LG G5 and MWC for now, but stay tuned to The Verge, tune into our YouTube channel as well, we'll have a whole bunch more from here at MWC. That's it.